start recording and <laughs> Red Star's channel. Mm. Sue me, Nintendo. I don't give a fuck. Or rather, don't sue, but just, you know, do the things you do. This is very ambient. This is literally Luigi's footsteps. I'd love if. It's a really good addition to the soundtrack. They should also include is Luigi scratching mm. his nose and. Whistling a jaunty tune as well as it gets closer. Hello, hello. It always takes like a billion years for this uh, link to send through, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm the video game queen. I'm the one who wins. Hello? I don't. Meantime, <clears throat> you know what? Let's also hey, nothing productive. What's good? Or Vizaba? Yo, what's good? I think I will also advertise this on another Discord. Discord seems to be the place to advertise stuff. You know? Hmm. Hmm. I feel so bad. There's this one Discord I always go to to advertise my stuff, and <laughs> the only thing I really post is just advertising my shit. It's like, uh... Okay. Oh, Vizaba. Yeah, totally. Me finish sending this out. Taking <laughs> all. Chilled out. Okay. First thing on the list is motherfucking Stumpus. Oh, damn it. Oh my god, directing around these stupid numbers is so hard. OBS is a great program, but oh my goodness, it's uh, difficult to nav navigate this piece of shit. There we go. Okay. Stumpy and. Ravington. The funny thing about drawing uh, Stumpy and Mr. Ravington is that there is no cartoon equivalent. You cannot do that or else you will ruin the point of Stumpy and Mr. Ravington. They have to look like statues. Very scary statues. Ayoyama? Okay. I'm actually picking up on the names, believe it or not. Ayoyama. On specific Ioyama. Oof. Just felt lightheaded for a second. I think more so I was just feeling sleepy. Or yawny, really. Going for pizza. You want some? Yo. Hell yeah, man. Hey, Senior Whiteface. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Back to the drawing streams once again. Back at it again. Here to kick ass and draw. Not porno. Don't say it. 
Welcome to the real world, my friend. I give you a billboard and you do me like this. <laughs> okay. Stumpy. Stumpy. Stumpy, what you look like? You look like that. Okay. Can I somehow put Stumpy in the frame? Just had an amazing thought. Oh, bullshit, the mic is so perfectly in the way. There you go. Okay. You know, I love putting him here, but my elbow keeps wanting to bump into him, so I can't do it with that. Game theory, Hayden is not wearing pants right now. I'm wearing fucking pants! What What is with this thing where you keep saying I'm not wearing pants? Sometimes I don't wear pants. Sometimes I do. This time I am wearing pants. This is my favorite part of Luigi's Mansion where you're like doing a tutorial and there's like funk music playing in the background. Okay, what was it again? It was Stumpy gently petting Mr. Rabbington. Okay. Let's make this kind of simple. Let's draw Ravington's head right here. Here goes down like that. There's like scary soulless eye. And then Stumpy in all of his glory. Stumpy is really fun to draw, actually. <laughs> now that I'm drawing him. He's just such a... He's such a lovely-looking boy. Who made this? Like, where did Stumpy even come from? I just found him at a store, and... Or I didn't even find him. My dad did. But he's just such a strange little, little doll. It's like... Well, he's my son, obviously, but, like, I want to know where he came from. On his butt is a little... Sorry, Stumpy, but we're just... We have to crack the code here. On his butt is a little, like... Great bargains thing. So he was clearly from a store at some point in his life. He wasn't just made by some elderly painter from the Himalayan mountains that donated my my poor son he came from somewhere right I don't know I don't even know why I care so much I just <laughs> I want to crack the code I want to know where my son came from what's his origins because he can't speak to me it's pretty effortless to uh, draw Stumpy. Okay, maybe that's not true. Maybe it's because I've been staring at Stumpy for so long. <laughs> this is probably a little harder to do. Like, map out. You know what it totally is? Because I remember trying to draw him the first time and it was such a pain in the ass. Game theory. Hayden hates people that think art is easy and takes no time and takes no time more than Stalin. General Butt Naked and Hitler all put together. Oh, there was no capital in Stalin, so I thought you were just misspelling something. <laughs> it's your fault I couldn't read it. Your mm. fault. Nah. One day, Stumpy will approach you, holding his Made in China tag, and say to you, Dad, am I adopted? <laughs> Stumpy is the physical manifestation of what's left of humanity's goodwill. Now Stumpy is too pure to come from a communist country. <laughs> so...
Stumpy is so fucking cute. Like, the longer I draw him, the more I'm like... Can't help but make a stupid face. <laughs> oh. Yes, I do know what these porcelain and clay doll look like by heart. What? Not weird. Not weird at all. Mr. Rabbington looks a little weird. I might have to go get the reference. I don't want to get the reference, though. Uh, he's in the next room, being a little shit. He's over there just like, I'm trying to heat up a Pop-Tart. Do you know how hard it is to heat up a Pop-Tart inside of the oven? You set the oven to broil, then you try and put in the Pop-Tart. You gotta put it in for only like one second because the devil himself comes in and starts touching it with the little tiggly ting ting fingers. It's too hot! Too hot for Mr. Rabbinson. Too hot! <laughs> What does Mr. Rabbington look like, goddammit? Surely I have a picture of him somewhere. Right? Hold on. Yeah, I'm not here. Rabbington. <laughs> what in the holy hell was what? Are you referring to my sick-ass Mr. Rabbington rant? Or are you talking about the spooky music that I'm listening to? Yeah, that's what Mr. Rabbit. Yes! You've never heard Mr. Rabbington talk. Wow. That never that never even occurred to me that yeah. He sounds kind of stupid, doesn't he? This is not a chill stream at all, my goodness. It's so scary. Um horse rabbit. Could I just find it online? I would I would shake and shimmy and cause a 12 kilowatt earthquake if I just find Mr. Rabbington right now. Wow, I'm really not. What happens when I type in Mr. Rabbington? I don't think I've ever wrote his, written his name anywhere. Mr. Rabbington. Didn't find much. 
I just found a bunch of real ass people. Are you telling me that these people are just called Mr. Rabbington? Where on here? What the fuck? It's real. Hold on. This might be interesting to some folk. Since we don't really got a big crowd, I can kind of afford to goof this. Oh, please load. Please load. Please load and don't be porn. There it is. At the Holy Trinity Church. Kupera Hinakino. Kupere. Kupere Hinakino. Daughter of Mrs. J. Babington. Oh, Babington. Oh, eat me. Sorry, guys. I thought it was Rabington. Babington. Jesus. Who are you trying to fool with that? All right. Well, this tells me one thing. Mr. Rabington is not copyrighted. So, I can sell him. Awesome. If you're really committed, you can go through one of the one of your old videos. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay, yeah. uh, I mean, if I was really committed, I could just go in the next room and get Mr. Rabington. <laughs> Uh, but I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I wanna. Uh. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> he looks so cute. <laughs> Okay, I found him. Crisis averted, I found him. Thank you, Ammer. Luigi. Who the fuck heats up a Pop-Tart? Oh, right. Try drawing Timmy the Tooth. Timmy the Tooth? Ah, uh, sure. Just give me a sec with this. Actually, let us put that in a separate window. That way I don't have, oh god damn it, that way I don't have uh, pictures overlapping each other. Alright! No, it's like the full soundtrack, uh, but it includes tiny little tidbits. <clears throat> there isn't going to be a section where like... You start just hearing Mario, or, or rather, M -m -m Mario. If you have any music suggestions, though, that you'd like me to play instead of this, I just picked this randomly. Uh, please tell me now. I'll gladly turn them on. Gladly. Oh my god, this is giving me so much stress. <laughs> I don't even know what half these sound effects are from. You know what? We're turning on Animal Crossing. <sighs> oh, isn't that so much better? Hello there, Nick and Lat. Welcome back. Welcome back to the drawing streams. Right now I'm drawing my son, Stumpy. And he's petting my... Friend, Mr. Ravington. I have bad friends.
maybe I should try and rethink this whole hand. Stumpy de dumpy. May I make a request? Yes, you may. Also, I need to write down Senior Whiteface's request. Find three. One, two, three. I have to pee. Timmy the Tooth. Never heard of him. First time for everything. Are you sure this is the best thing? Diamond is unbreakable, OSD. Oh, yeah? Maybe I shall turn it on in a mo, but I want to focus on this for a sec. these weird long fingers is why I'm unsure. Can you need to draw a Norgal from Headlopper? Sure. Norgal. I'm going to have to look some of these up. Norgal Well, I can tell you right now, Timmy Tooth looks, uh, Timmy terrifying, but I will still draw him all the same. Um. the shit out of me that I can't make heads or tails of it. It would definitely be longer than that. I've been doing a lot of drawing lately because uh, I recently was working on a uh, Mystery Skulls uh, webcomic rec recreation kind of deal. The Mystery Skull guys are really fun to draw. And they just released a new vid, so I was like, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. And decided to draw a recreation of uh, the ending scene to uh, their latest music video, Hellbent. And yeah, it was a ton of fun. It's very fun to do those kind of recreations, those kind of redraws. I used to do that a lot back, in, uh, back when I was uh, still in college. Although I only did comic recreations of stuff like uh, Conjun House, if you guys remember Conjun House, that was another. That was one of those like internet shows, you know, the kind of internet show that you watch because it's really funny, but then the creator started digressing into a weird place. Uh, for those that don't know, Conjun House was like it's really funny, pretty well written and like fast paced absurdist comedy. Kind of reminds me of uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It had a unique kind of sense of humor. It was very internet-y, you know? Um, and it had a, a cool kind of style. Check it out. Definitely. Conjun House. It's kind of hard to spell. K-H-O-N-J-I-N. Something like that. And it's cool. But uh, the thing is, the creator started, like, giving it a story. And I don't mind that too much. The thing is, he just couldn't really write a good story. And he wasn't very good at organizing. And uh, 
a bunch of like background drama happened that I don't really care about. The point is, is that the thing that he was making was becoming less and less interesting. It started becoming very anime, very mopey, very just, you know, bleh. And nothing that I really uh, cared about. So I kind of dropped off. And eventually the show just ended. And then he wanted to continue this like video game or something. Or maybe it was just an animation, I'm not really sure. This better not. This better not be something bad. I'm, I'm, I'm streaming right now. Oh, it's from my father. You draw good. Oh, thank you. Ah, shit. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, be right back, guys. I need to... My dad fucked up. Shouldn't take too long. Where's the BRB? BRB, everybody. That fucked up. Hello! I'm back! Diddly down! I'm looking at Stumpy and having a hard time understanding it. <clears throat> he's, uh. He's a very special boy. He's my special boy. He's real, too. The light is, the light is very bright, but this is my son. This is my son, Stumpy. My father gave him to me. Uh, he found him in a store, and the moment he looked at him, he said this to me, the moment he looked at him, he said, Hayden needs this. 
Hayden needs this. And so he brought him home, and now he is my son. I have decided. And so that's the story of Stumpy. He's a good boy. Mr. Rabbington? I mean, he's easier to figure out. He's a rabbit, so, you know. Let me see if I can get this done faster, because I spent too much time on drawings. Like, a little too much time. To good results, because, you know, they come out better when you give them more time and more love, but this is a drawing request stream, so people would like to see their stuff done as well. <sighs> Yeah, I really like how the hand came out. Any luck finding a job? Uh, I am getting some commission work every now and then. So I am getting some money. Yeah, but uh, as far as a job with a salary, uh, I'm still applying, but uh, we'll see. We will see. I'm, uh, I'm in that spot where, you know, at first... When you try to like apply for gigs and jobs, you get a little sheepish because you're like, I don't want to advertise myself. I, I feel bad. I'm not good enough. Th that kind of you know, attitude that you have that's perfectly rational because like it just happens to people. You can't expect to be confident right out the gate. But you need to kind of lose that when you start doing commission work because there's a lot of artists, especially nowadays when it's easier to be an artist. So, so lately I've had to be like, you know, really forward and really like, hey guys, it's me. My, my name's Hayden, Hayden Bray. Hey, uh, I have a, a DeviantArt. I have a portfolio. I know how to animate and I've worked in films. Like I, I need to start listing off all of my skills really fast to people or just buy a business card. I don't know why I don't do that either. That is something, if any of you, want to get into like the professional world of producing and selling yourself get a business card because um yeah it's hard hard to get by if you don't have a business life is kind of hard if you don't have a business card da -da -da. sorry And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Rabbington. So regal. So pristine. Yeah, also, that's uh, that's half the reason why you why it's a good idea to use grids and map out your drawings. Uh, they come out a lot better when you have an idea to work off of. Also, Stumpy has these bolts coming out of his head. How could I forget about the little Frankenstein bolts? Stumpy. All right, Stumpy d -d -d down. Next, uh, to Ayoyama. Ayoyama. Sorry, but I'm a 
make this one kind of minimal. I'm not... Okay, just bumped into a lot of porn there. All right, didn't mean for that. There we go, Aoyama, cool. I guess Aoyama is also the name of a uh, porn lady. Very, very nice. Not what I'm looking for right now. Ayoyama does this thing actually where um, in most of the manga, any shot that he's in, because he's usually like a background character, he's not super significant to the plot even though he did have uh, a few scenes of development. Uh, he's not like a super crucial character that gets a lot of lines. So what he does in the story most of all is he just kind of chills in the background and stares directly at the camera. Making a wonderful face. In fact, actually, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put that on a different grid because. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. My Hero Academia is now done. Done and over with. It's come and it's gone. It's ran its course. It was beautiful, though, when it came out. When it first was uh, around. We had a wonderful run of uh, episodes. So much happened in, like, the third season of My Hero Academia. Sorry if this is uh, not too interesting for those that haven't actually watched it. I think I have an idea for how to do how to do this. Just have people walking. like in the background just like talking like you know hey all that stuff hey what's up it's good oh Nick and Lot thank you for the cheer cheer times four thank you my friend I get the cheers, although I'm not, I'm still not 100% on what they are, like what they mean. Having fun isn't hard when you have a library card. I got banned from the library for not paying the $90 overdue bill on a Sesame Street season. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened, but oh, wow. Okay, this cannot be an accident that you keep running into porn. Let, it, uh, it just, ha I don't got no problem solving that, bro. I don't know why it happened, it just happened. Can't explain it. Shit, I need to catch up, but I don't care about spoilers to so go crazy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. 
Rise and grind, gamers. Let's get the bread. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I still don't understand Stumpy. What's to not understand? He's a handsome boy. Oh, oh, cheers are basically pennies. Enjoy my four pennies, you snot. <laughs> JK, don't ban me. <laughs> I remember there was a time where I was very ban crazy. <clears throat> In a jokey way. I remembered I banned like a couple of people. I'm like, uh, no, wait, no, no, no. It wasn't banning. No, yeah, it was, um, I kept giving people like mod abilities. Like I kept giving pe random people in the chat the ability to be mods. And then I would take the power away. <laughs> Just that random. Uh, it was very late in the night. Yama. Oh yeah, but I was going to say, um, the third season, they did so much. Like, we went to, like, what, like, three locations? All in the third season. Like, I thought that we were moving to the fourth season. Like, I thought that we were, like, moving on, and somehow they were able to just afford this. Nope. It was a massive leap. A massive leap for, uh, our characters. Cool though, cool as fuck. Good luck, mate. <laughs> he looks fucking weird. <laughs> he looks fucking scary. actually get the effect of what's going on He's in a crowded area but he's zoned in on you this is the beginning of a horror movie this is the beginning of it follows starring Aoyama I think that's what's bugging me here. Yeah, his eye is weird. God, I love Clip Studio more than anything in the entire universe. That's not true, but uh, as a tool, Clip Studio was super duper useful. To be fair, though, I shelled out like the money for the super duper Special Boy exclusive, where it's like a billion fucking dollars. Actually, it was about like. I don't know, it was close to like $300 actually, but somehow I talked myself into that. And I'm really glad I did, because it has an animation uh, option that I love to death. In fact, I used the animation option on Clip Studio to uh, create my final, which uh, let me pass college. Um, it was a good idea, it was. Okay. <clears throat> 
Thank you, Mom. My mom texted me. She's in a totally different state, but she just texted me like, Hey, I'm going to bed. We were sort of talking, but not entirely. Okay, Aoyama. Done. Bam. In the back of your mind, there is a part of you that wants to ban me. I was Robin Hood. Oh, damn. I like seeing my messages come up on the screen. Penis. <laughs> nice, nice, Nick. Nice. You done it. You done did it. Would you get a stumpy tattoo as a Patreon tier goal? There's a part of me that wants to say yes. There is a part of me that wants to say yes. But there's a much stronger part of me that wants to say no. Hmm, <laughs> back, what did I miss? Did Stumpy do a backflip? Bad news, pizza place was full, so no pizza. I think people should edit Ayama into backgrounds of famous pictures. <laughs> Like how, like how, like him wears Waldo into World War II photos and videos. Oh, I would love that. I would love that. Absolutely. 100%. All right. Timmy the Tooth is next. Timmy the Tooth is uh, great because uh, I say so. And that other Ayoyama tab for, um, you know, for later. Timmy, the tooth is looking great. Man, Timmy, the tooth. Gotta say. He's a looker. He's a... He's a real looker. <laughs> Aiden got paid $500 by web for each pantsless picture he sends. <laughs> Ioyama equals Slenderman. <laughs> Slenderman, Slenderman takes a sheet in a coffee can, plays some games with a grudge, gonna drink down some toxic sludge. Sorry. The music ended too. Oh no. What am I going to do, Pokemon music? I love Pokemon. Fuck, I love Pokemon. I just remembered I love Pokemon. <sighs> Pokemon's one of those things that is like nostalgia, you know? Can we see a reference photo? Oh God, I feel molested. <laughs> If you boys over on YouTube are reading the Twitch comments, your mom gay. <laughs> Excellently delivered. Pokemon! Hell yeah. Pokemon is my jam salad. Like, it's super nostalgic. Every time I play it, I end up in a good mood. I fucking love Pokemon. Timmy the Tooth in Candyland was the only VHS we had for a while, so I watched more Timmy than anybody should. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I can immortalize him here as well as in your mind. Uh, just kind of a tooth, I, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what to do. How many of you jive turkeys watch, uh, watch, uh, Ruby? <laughs> I think I asked that on the last stream. I 100% did. I have a lot of Ruby on the mind. I want to watch more of it. It's such a terrible show, and I hate it so much. But it has a massive fan base. People love Ruby. I see people at conventions getting all dressed up and getting excited for Ruby. I cannot understand it. It's amazing. It's one of those animes that I love to hate, which I feel sort of like dumb and childish for 
for being like that, but whatever. It's really fun to watch. I just, I get invested in it for all the wrong reasons. The frickin... I don't know, actually. How many of you do watch Ruby? Because I think the last time I asked this, and most of it was the same audience, but some of you guys are new. Um, when I asked it, not a lot of people said they watched it. So There ain't no shame in watching it. Like, I'm not even saying that it's a bad show. Per se well, it is a bad show, like, objectively. But I really, really love it. For, like... <laughs> Terrible reasons. By the way, for any of you artists out there, don't be afraid to, like, if you're drawing a hand, just look at your own hand and do, like, hand poses. Like, right now I'm trying to do, like, a, like a gimme, like, like a little gimme motion. Just take your hand and just go, like, okay, what's that look like? Looks like that. And then try to work it out from there. This all kind of looks like a giant mess. I know. That. I'm noticed uh, as I get into drawing more and more. kind of get an eye for grids and grid systems. That also could just be because I'm a giant fucking nerd and I love geometry and I did great on my geometry test in high school. Anyways, sorry, hashtag humblebrag. Ruby is only popular thanks to perverts and porn. Oh. First of all. Alright. Coming at it strong. I only saw the first episode of Ruby and I won't see another episode while sober. <laughs> That's not the gimme motion, gimme motion, that's the come on. That's the gimme motion. That's also the come on, but that's the gimme motion. Lol, isn't Ruby for potatoes? Never mind then, I thought that it was a big deal. I saw like a lot of uh, people, I go to a convention, I try to go to a convention every year uh, called uh, Anime Central and Again, I remember going like two years in a row seeing uh, people cosplaying as like Ruby and stuff. Then again, that's also when uh, the Ruby craze was just starting to hit it big. I'm pretty sure this must have been 2015 and then 2016. Both times I went and uh, the grand old time. And both times, I think that's around the time people were starting. Discord's fucking up. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, whatever. It's a cartoon, so he gets little cartoon fingers. He 
is like this, the thumb is on the other side. He's not even wearing gloves, he just has like big round hands. Drawing hands, palm up, thumb out. Palm down, thumb in. I think I know what you mean. I know I look like a freaking gorilla right now trying to figure out what you're talking about, but I think I know what you mean, yeah. not come on it's the commotion you're causing a lot of commotion right now with this with this tood you're giving me ruby strikes me as a show as a show everyone fetishizes only to find out 90% of the cast is underaged they are then having to do the usual backpedal of but in their culture oh wait you mean the like the characters. I thought you meant like the cast. Like they're hiring 17 and 16 year olds to like voice the characters. That would be extra strange. I see. Well, yeah, it's like. It sounds like typical anime discussions. Take those kids to the park to watch the sun go down and put the two and put two in the back of their heads. Just as Lord Squidward had to do when heathen Spongebob ate the bomb. <laughs> Amen. I couldn't take it. Couldn't stand another minute. Couldn't bear another day without you in it. Big round two flick hands. <laughs> Alright, let's draw those big wonderful eyes. watch shows that had puppets in them. Besides, like, Elmo, that's kind of, you know, a simple answer. I think a lot of people tuned into the good old Sesame Street. And even then, I didn't watch it too much. Elmo was always my favorite. I kind of had a goofy perspective here. This guy goes a lot further down than I give him credit. Also, this arm needs to back the fuck up. Come on, arm. Let's go. We're going for a little piggyback ride. We're not going for a piggyback ride, actually. I'm just pushing you into a different position. But I'm trying to make this easier for you. Much better. 
lot more space for the mouth. Just this weird, like... Look at the eyebrows. The eyebrows are make him a lot less creepy. Anytime puppets are involved, it often results in them being very creepy. I notice people, especially like online critics, they give CGI like such a hard time. Like they're like, oh CGI is so shit and like it's not memorable and it's not uh, inspiring, blah 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 blah. It's not um, charming like stop motion animation is. I'd say that's not even remotely true. Um, I think it's just another kind of effect out there. I think if it's used poorly, or it's not used in a smart way, where you account for space and you account for how it's animated and how it's moved and how to position it, etc., etc., you know how to animate 3D. I think in that case, it could be beautiful, even invisible. It's like awesome. I think hating CGI right off the bat is kind of foolish. Uh, but practical. Practical effects, I totally agree with that. Because uh, animating practically and like not relying too much on special effects will get you very far. Especially as like uh, an independent artist, as I know a lot of people are that watch this. I have no idea what to do with this guy. <laughs> Timmy Tooth, He's giving me so much agita right now. I don't even have a clue what agita means, but I remember them saying it in Game Grumps a few times. I imagine it's some disease related to stress. of a dead man. I think CGI can look really good. I still think I still like Ringo and TNT. Yeah, yeah. 3D animated movies, but yeah, yeah. Couldn't turn a big round tooth with hands. Elmo originally was a background character. I think Dreadix is attractive. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm attractive too. <laughs> 
Um... Wait, are you going to draw the God of Pestilence, Norgle, from Warhammer? Uh, no, I'm drawing Norgle from fucking... Headlopper. And he looks fucking awesome, by the way. I gotta read Headlopper, that looks awesome. Let's draw this hand. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's a nice scary hand. Definitely become a better artist in this uh, little break that uh, I've had from uh, doing the streams. Time to get rid of this shitty grid. It's time to get rid of this shitty grid. Look at him. Look at this handsome devil. Mm. And now for the finishing touch, the thing I wanted to do originally with this character and this pose. Bubble. I've been making a, a comic recently, and so I am very well acquainted with the whole comic book assets that they give you. children. Come on. Ain't no time like the present. I have no idea what his voice actually sounds like. He could be a British man and I'd never know. Okay. And then, and this is another beautiful thing that Clip Studio Paint does. I really, I could advertise Clip Studio Paint forever. Like, they might as well start paying me. Come on. Give me your teeth, children. Alright. <laughs> Give myself a little more room. There we go. All right. Now we're good. Okay. Next, after Timmy Tooth comes Norgal, Norgal the Barbarian.
How have you dealt with panel structure? Haven't done it myself, but I'm curious to what your experience has been. Timmy is Southern, if I remember correctly, and has a toothbrush dog-like creature. Game Theory, Hayden is Sans. You know what, funny you say that. Uh, I have voiced Sans in a bunch of dubs, <laughs> believe it or not. I got a nice, like, lazy guy voice. It, it fits pretty well. And it's a lot of fun to do uh, the Sans voice. <clears throat> Headlopper is about a guy who cuts off heads and fights monsters and people. Basically Conan. I was getting that impression. It looked very uh, Conan and very just barbarian-like in general. Ooh, sorry. It's fucking awesome. So it's a comic, an adventure comic. So... You know what, I should probably get a few good, uh, head lopper normal, right? Yeah, normal. Head lopper is a comic about being very cool. His name is Norgal, and he doesn't drool. Is Norgal the lead? Is that sort of, uh, the assumption here? I notice he keeps swinging around this decapitated head. I'm imagining that's his partner. God, I gotta look into this. This looks awesome. He's like a dad. Aww. That's so nice. I love Norgal. I love him already. Him and his funny decapitated head sidekick. Hmm. Okay, let's see. How are we gonna do this? <clears throat> Oh, by the way, to uh, answer your question, Senior Whiteface, uh, how do I deal with panel structure? Um, you know what? While I'm thinking about this, how to, like, do this pose, why don't I open up a comic that I've been working on? Nothing big or, like, cool. Uh, just the uh, Mystery Skulls comic that I've been working on. Ba -da -da. Da, 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 da. Mystery Skills is fucking awesome, by the way, for those that like uh, cute art style and bangin' music. Check it out. It's a series of music videos, three of them. The first one, Ghost, is really, really great and like a perfect introduction, and then the rest of them are like a continuing story. I love all of them, but the first one's a really good intro level, if you couldn't already assume that. But yeah, I basically break down com uh, panel structure very simply. Nothing too special yet, but I kind of have, but I have been reading more uh, conventional uh, DC comics and Akira. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I have Akira right here. Oh man, my, ca my freaking camera's reversed. I forgot about that. Well, it's Akira, trust me. Uh, but reading up on Akira, a lot of the, uh, a lot of Akira is about heavy composition, and I've thought a lot about that. Not so much with a comic like this, though. This is very like simple stuff. Uh, but yeah, essentially like you know, zoom in shots, good use of color, composition, 
pretty basic stuff like uh, man in front, couple people in like foreground, dedicating an entire panel to something much bigger, splitting up character between two even though the same shot is here, and also foreground colors. Not so much colors really. It's all like very simple stuff. For this, I mean, for here, I tried to do something slightly interesting. Uh, I, It's not done yet, but basically this panel is just a recreation of this one, except I've now moved the panel slightly up to address the fact that the guy here is very tall, and he's suddenly intruding in on this conversation in the scene. That's kind of how I've been doing uh, panels. I'm trying to do research when I can, but uh, there's a lot I don't know. What comics have you been reading? Uh, I'm not really a big comic guy. Uh, I mostly read web comics, but when I was younger, I was a big Batman and Spider-Man guy. I had uh, several comics of uh, Spider-Man and of two big, thick uh, comics of Batman, like DC. I've mostly been attracted to Marvel, though. Marvel seems to be a lot more silly, and that's sort of the comics that uh, I'm into. More like silly, ridiculous fun comics. I don't take comics seriously, ever. And I actually get a little annoyed when uh, people get way too, like, dramatic and serious with their comic book lore. It's just not my deal. It's not my bag. Plastic Man. Now, now what is Plastic Man? <laughs> Sounds interesting. smaller <laughs> we go on X games oh my god Okay. okay. The sword looks a little small, though. I think the sword is too small. That sword wider. Not wider, longer. It is a mighty blade. Mighty blade, indeed.
He's a man who is stretchy and indestructible. He is very silly. Seeing how there is no requests, I see after this, may I request another thing? Go for it, yeah. Unless anybody else has a request that they would like to pitch in. All right, it's Classic Akira. Plastic Man is the male version of Elastigirl. Oh, very cool. Plastic Man is a big goof. Watch Brave and the Bo Watch Brave and the Bold for details. He's great. <laughs> and if you feel like, and if you feel like drawing after Norgal, try drawing Harvest from Diamond is Unbreakable. I can link a pic if you want. Please do. Then maybe I know exactly what you want. I don't think I need to wrap up. It's, uh, I think we've only been going for an hour, I'm being honest. It's just been such a, it's been a very chill drawing stream. I haven't done them in a while, though, so that makes sense. Nobody really comes to expect them the same way. But that's why we gotta do them more. That's why we gotta get back into this now. Is that sword long enough? I feel like I'm obsessing over this, but is this sword long enough? Gotta have my water. Stratus was being Stratus was busy being a movie star. Mm. Yeah, I was helping out with that uh I was helping out with uh making a forty eight hour film. I'm actually gonna be watching that tomorrow. I, no. No, 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 not tomorrow, it's Saturday. I'm, I'm going to be watching it in a couple of days. God, I love these big, like, goofy, bulging eyes. It's so freaky looking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of in my own little world for a second there.
matching it. Kind of like, uh, it's kind of like this level of grossness that I'm not quite tapping into yet. This music is dandy. This reminds me of Earthbound. Man, I really need to start thinking about uh, fantasy design. Spooky, freaky designs like this. I need to start reading this comic. I just get the impression I'm going to get uh, some like good artistic inspiration out of it. For those that don't know, um, I'm working on a new comic. One that isn't Emerald Eyes. One that uh, isn't going to completely fall apart because it's actually a good concept. Emerald Eyes was kind of becoming a mess. That's okay though. Sometimes you start projects and sometimes they work out and sometimes they just don't. Sometimes you just gotta call it quits. But yeah, I'm working on that new project. I think I told... Uh, most everybody about the premise already? That it's about uh, a man that dies outside of a haunted, no, inside of a haunted house and he gets trapped in the haunted house uh, along with every other ghost in there that's trapped and he needs to break the curse to figure out how to get out of the haunted house, to get all of his ghost buddies, his new ghost buddies out of the haunted house. And he has to do it in a short amount of time because they're going to try and condemn the house and make it and uh, destroy it. There we go. That's looking. That's looking good. He doesn't have hair like that. Though. He has like dreads. Whoa, he is way too big. Wow, did not even notice how colossal he is. <laughs> He's just like, hello there, hello. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Sorry. Once again, in my own little world, I'm stop. Kind of a big head, but not, not that big. Put it in the talking pit. Nice. What Pokemon game do you like the most? I really enjoy the Red and Blue remake for the GBA. <laughs> I might actually... Believe it or not, uh, Vizaba, I've been considering making a uh, a video talking about Emerald Eyes, talking about like everything that went wrong with it. Because believe it or not, it was an ordeal. It was a massive, massive ordeal making that comic, and uh, everything kind of just went wrong with it. And I'm thinking if I made that like a little video, that might be fascinating to. Uh, or not even fascinating per se, but I think it might be kind of interesting for people that uh, want to make comics. Because uh, the problems that I had making and developing Emerald Eyes are something that I see a lot with other people that try to be creative. So if I was to make some video talking about how I made this comic that was so like cool and very personal and I wanted it to be this and that and this and that, but I barely understood what I was even trying to make. I think a lot of people can relate to something like that. Kind of got this grim energy in it. So 
don't worry, you don't need to wait 10 years to know the plot to uh, Emerald Eyes. I may just make a video where I sum it all up. shirtless, jeez. Chelsea Chambers. Your phone's at 2%. Oh, shit, dude. I'm sorry, but I'll write it down. Rest his soul. He's probably not here anymore. Chelsea Charps. Chelsea Champs. Oh my god, stop showing me porn. The hell is that seven now? Okay, cool. Can't find Chelsea Charms. Are you a part of the Discord? Uh, cause you, yeah, it would be helpful if you. Um. Cause it would be helpful to, uh, have a reference image. Talking dumb. Talking kid. Dang, senior white face. Interesting picture. <laughs> yeah, I looked up Chelsea Charms and I found porn. Yeah, that's exactly what it's called. Is Chelsea Charms just porn? See, so that is why I found porn. Well, you know what? Before I draw porn, let's draw these bumblebee. I was pretty sure I was sent this before uh, Chelsea Charms. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to finish this. <laughs> it felt like I finished it, but I didn't, actually. So I will put this over here. He does do porn. Porn where? <laughs> I really 
like comics as a storytelling medium. Not, never got super into them, but I love comic slash manga style. Hat shading is so cool to me. Hayden, how do you rate my top five that I posted on the original content dump? Uh, I did not read it, if I'm being honest. I can go back and read it uh, and give you my opinion on it later. I want to get done with this. This is what we call cheating. Hey, now do you make your line so straight? Well, I use a line tool. <laughs> I love my line tool. I use it more than anything. <laughs> Is such a nice friend. He brought me dinner. He did not bring me ketchup though because he hates me, but that's okay. Mm. like the sword is too low.
His mid torso is just so intimidating. It's like. Strange, complex belt. Although, uh, okay, that's, that's not too bad, actually. There's not too much going on. Oh, man, I wanted to answer the question earlier. What's your favorite Pokemon game? I have a lot, a lot of nostalgia for the original uh, Pokemon Gold. I used to play that. That was, I think, basically my first Pokemon game I played all the way through. lovingly gave me ketchup in two forms. Also, he threw it at me. What a good boy. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the stream where I draw a barbarian and eat at the same time. John is best my food. True friends give each other good night kisses. <laughs> Dawn, Dawn fan rules. Oh, Jonathan. Good old John. belt that goes over like that. Yes. Yes. That's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. God, it's starting to sound like Mega Man now. Oh yeah, I got the latest Mega Man, by the way. Mega Man 11, <laughs> with my commission money. I know how to spend money fiscally. <laughs> nah, but the only reason I got it was because it was cheap. 
well, cheap. Cheap in the sense of, like, it was 30 bucks, whereas most AAA games nowadays go for, like, what, 50 or something? Ridiculous. But you know what I really love about the Switch is that there's a lot of, uh, different kinds of games on it. I was astounded. Like, there's this one side-scroller game called, uh, oh god, what was it called? No! I'd love to advertise it if I could just remember its stupid name. No, I'm not going to be able to remember it. I'll, I'll probably remember it, like, later on when it doesn't matter. Welcome to stream, where I'm going to draw myself eating a bar of berry and thick lady. I will start by the wiener hole. Hayden, every second of his life. No, not the messenger. It's like a name that's incomplete in the beginning. It's like missing the first letter. music reminds me so much of, like, Paper Mario. Another really nostalgic and wonderful game. You know, now that I'm streaming more often again, um, my little unintentional break is over, I should, uh, go back to streaming Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. <laughs> no. I'm not home. Game theory. Hayden is a well-written character with complex emotions on furry tits and how big they should be, but at night he practices in real life for a cannibalism. No. John is at his home for a reason. Run, John. The Hayden is trying to fatten you up for supper. 
<laughs> it's actually John with no H. And he tells me that he'd really like to go by Jonathan. Churchill. Mad Jack Churchill. <laughs> Crazy guy that took a sword and longbow to World War II and was a legit good general. He fought old school. He was an old school kind of guy. cool. The things you learn from history. Amazing. Okay. This Eggman is going to weird me out. Not Eggman from the acclaimed hit series Spider-Man. But this thing. I, I don't know what his name is. I was only sent a picture. But I think I have an idea of how to draw him. leg goes like that, back leg goes like that, shoe and foot go like that, and front leg goes like that, goes like that, Looking like a mess, but maybe I can clean it up. Uh, I think it's because there's no like clear direction. Mm. I think what it mostly is is that. pointing generally <clears throat> the same direction. My big legs are also pointing the same direction. Maybe that's what I should do. Do 
was doing like a karate kick. Hey, okay, okay. Kind of vibing with it. Centric. <laughs> really do love this guy's look, though. It's looking great. <laughs> ever get tired of the Pokemon music, by the way, uh, let me know. I can peruse and see what other uh, stuff I can find. Harvest is a naughty little thing that likes to take loose change in groups while also being exploded by a hand fetishist serial killer. Well, that's amazing. Mad Jack was shot in the neck with that wound and he was able to fight off the ambush and save a US soldier from certain death. I think the only reason Mad Jack doesn't have a movie about him is because he enjoyed war. If it weren't for those damn Yanks, we could have made this war lasted another 10 years. Oh, I see, he was kind of an insane person. Not exactly fit to be a, uh, a war hero per se concept of war is not so much about the actual battle, or, or at least the way that we like to talk about war is not so much the battle, but the, the reason for the war. Sorry that I keep eating, but like if I don't, it's just gonna get cold. It's okay, I'm eating too. Banging. I see, I see. That is true. Very Nordic.
Well, this one's fun. Oh, I love him. So, what is he from? This guy? I believe it was Senior Whiteface that uh, sent this along to me. I'm definitely going to watch more Ruby. It's so we're goddamn ridiculous. Yeah, okay, it goes all the way around. Okay, okay. He's got like a beer keg on his head. <laughs> Harvest is from JoJo Part 4. Oh my god, my brother would love it. He watches JoJo. Jojo's Circus? Jo uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Unless the fourth season or fourth part is called uh, Jojo's Circus. In which case, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't watch lame animes like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I watch good animes like Ruby. <laughs>
Royalty. It's like Battle Royale, but with... <laughs> it's like Battle Royale, but with rape. It says people who were in prison. <laughs> I see. Well, uh, bangin'. Okay. Ooh, hand is, hand is feeling the pain. getting there. Oh, we're getting there. I got two fingers. Well, three fingers, really, but like, you know. Have you tried wrist exercises? I do, in fact. In fact, actually, a wrist exercise for anybody that's uh, inclined. You uh, you take your hand, and bend it backwards, like so. Bend it backwards, maybe count to about 15 or something. Hmm. And don't push it so far that it hurts, but push it back enough that you feel like a kind of stress going on. definitely feeling it. Oof. Just stretches out your whole arm. Hmm. You can do the same thing, but down. Just like... Mm. Oh. Stretch those hands out. You don't want your muscles to get too tense and all your tendons to go bad. You don't want that. You want to be good and healthy. Oh my god, this music. This music's just a delight.
Fucking Christ, the music is so peaceful. I have never really been good with feet. Ooh, that foot is snapping in half. Profile. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, wait, no, it's not pointed that way. And it's so clearly pointed the other way. Well, I could change that. Getting very inspiring with this last leg. <laughs> oh, it's a leg. Oh, it's a leg.
baby. Let's use a bunch of value for this one. like Undertale. <laughs> Oh, one more thing. One more thing. You. You little bastard. That's it, isn't it? Oh, he's got a big tail. I guess. Pokemon game is it from? I think a lot of these are from the new ones, you know, Diamond, Sun Ultra, Pokemon X. Although, let me check. Do they sell? This is Lament of Falling Stars from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And then this one, which I think I was just hearing, was uh, the Royal Unova from Pokemon Black and White. Hmm. And this is from Mystery Dungeon. This is Sympathy of S Sympathy and sincerity sympathy and sincerity wow really really nice these are all like uh, remixes too so you're not getting the full thing but yeah um you know what guys i think i think with that i am set for the night Woo! this was a fun one oh baby boy Yeah. Ooh, thank you guys.
guys for watching. Take a look at all these wonderful drawings. I think I may rearrange them so that they look a little more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in and all that good stuff. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. This is a banging stream. We got a whole lot done. Definitely. I know I certainly enjoyed it. I'll definitely need to go back and redraw some of these because they're they're just a lot of fun. They they look nearly done. So yeah. Whew. Not everybody. Love you, respect you. Go away. Pop this baby off. Beep.